The crate in this problem is pushed across a horizontal frictionless floor with a force F of 80 newtons. We're told that it slides a distance 11 meters in 5 seconds. And we're asked to find its mass M. Let's start doing this by drawing a free body diagram of the crate. There are three forces acting on it. First, there's its weight, mg, which acts straight down. There's the normal force from the floor pushing straight up on it. And there's the pushing force, F, which we'll take to be in the x direction. Newton's second law tells us that if we add all the forces in the x direction, that equals the mass times the acceleration in that direction. In this case, there's only one force in the x direction. So adding all the forces together just gives us capital F, that pushing force. This equals mass times acceleration, which we can solve for the mass to see that it equals the pushing force divided by the acceleration. At this point, we could substitute numbers. We know the force, except that we don't know the acceleration. So we need to find that, which we can do using kinematics. The horizontal displacement kinematic equation tells us that delta x equals v naught t plus half a t squared. The crate starts from rest so that v naught is zero. We can solve this for the acceleration now. It equals twice the displacement divided by time squared. Substitute the numbers to find that the crate's acceleration is 0 0.880 meters per second squared. And now we can come back up here and substitute the known numbers. The crate's mass is the pushing force, 80 newtons, divided by the acceleration. And when you calculate, you find that it equals 90.9 .9 kilograms.